Hello everyone, welcome again. In this software testing tutorial, we are going to learn what is system testing. So in the previous two tutorials, we have understood about the unit testing and integration testing, right? And prior to that, we have been learning about the basics of software testing, the levels, and now we are getting deep down into the levels of testing, right? So we have covered unit testing and integration testing already. If you haven't watched all the previous tutorial, please go through and watch them because they are really, really important to build the basics, all right? Now, coming back to the system testing. So as we have understood in the integration testing, when you are integrating multiple units together and testing the integrated units, that is what integration testing is, right? So for example, in this case, we have understood about the login page, wherein you have the unit username, password, and login button. And when you test this as a whole with valid username, password, and click on login button and redirect you to the dashboard page, or getting the proper error message if the username and password is invalid, then this is what integration testing is, right? So a couple of units integrate together and you're testing those couple of integrated units. Now, when it comes to system testing, system testing is testing system as a whole, right? Now, in this case, if I'm just testing login functionality of the overall e-commerce website, that is not the complete system, right? Complete system is the complete e-commerce website with all the functionalities that have been requested. So an e-commerce website can have login functionality and login, even in the login functionality, I can log in or register using, you know, email or I can log in using my social media accounts, right? So login functionality is one. Then there is a, prior to that, there is a registration functionality as well, right? So registration. When we, when we say register user, so the user can register using email, uh, his email or through the social media accounts. So for example, FB, uh, Twitter or uh, Instagram. Okay, so Google. So all these are social media uh, login possibilities or integration possible on the registration page. So this, this is one of the modules. The login is another module, dashboard another module, checkout, payments, add cart, remove, remove cart. There are so many modules or features that will be there in the overall e-commerce application or system, right? Once all these modules are integrated together and working fine, and you are testing that, this is, uh, you know, the integrated system as a whole is known as system testing right so taking back to the car example i have tested the wheel so which is integrated system all right or integrated you know or integration testing basically of the wheels when i have tested the wheel then i'll test the integrated engine right then for the body there will be you know like testing once all this is assembled together okay in the car let me make it a bit small so say for example, this is my car. So this is my car body. Uh, then the wheels are fitted here. Um, you know, all the headlights, these are, you know, like small units and there could be even more small units within these small units. Um, the window, the door, everything once has been built and tested, how everything is, you know, integrated and, and uh, available within the car. Once the car is ready and needs to be tested as a whole, this is what the system testing will do all about in terms of car, right? So when car is ready as a whole, it's moving uh, and all the, uh, you know, functionalities are being implemented, all the parts are being put in place in the car. And then I'm trying to, you know, test the car. I'm trying to turn on the engine and then accelerate I'm trying to, you know, ride the car and see how the performance, I'm trying to break it. That whole testing or testing the car as a whole is system testing. All right. Now, taking this same example back to the e-commerce website, when we integrate all the functionalities that need to be built on the e-commerce website that are given by the customer, all of them are integrated and I'm testing that integrated e-commerce website on the test environment that has been deployed there 
and I'm able to do end-to-end -end test cases there with all the functionalities there, then that is what system testing is all about. Now, system testing can have system testing and system integration testing, SIT as well. If, say for example, your e-commerce application integrates with third-party systems or external systems, then you have to do system integration testing as well because in that case, your system e-commerce website need to integrate with third-party system or external systems as well. So that part needs to be covered in the system integration testing as well. But in the broader way or in the broader categorization, system testing is applicable or system testing is uh, considered for both of those phases. So ST and SIT are considered as system testing uh, as a whole, right? So that's basically, uh, you know, how you can understand system testing and what system testing is all about. Um, in terms of the actual car manufacturing example and the e-commerce website when every all these you know systems or all these modules get integrated in your testing as a whole that is what system testing is in software testing so that's all for this tutorial hope this was helpful to uh, you know for you to understand what system testing is and you will be able to explain it easily to any interviewer in any of the software testing interviews so that's all for this tutorial. Please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching.